Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Most Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, this reading is meant to be a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If it doesn't seem to make sense to you, it doesn't feel right, then most likely it is simply not meant for you and that's okay. It's a general reading so it it might not resonate with you and that is completely normal. If ever you do have any questions and you would like to have your own private reading, so you have um, some answers you would like to find, uh, that you would like to find, maybe you're searching for some clarity, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, help you out and to help you to try and find those answers that you're seeking for. Also, um, if you're new to the channel or if you've been here, you know, a few times already and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. I'm going to explain to you exactly what it is that I've done. Now I've called this the pentagram and yes, there are pentagrams onto the cards um, because this is the pentagram of love. Now, I did not make a pentagram because when I made a pentagram, it didn't really look like a pentagram um, because, you know, of the six cards. So what I've done is I made like two mini ones. Um, so this is a pentagram of love. What we're trying to find out is, you know, what she is thinking and what he is thinking. So it doesn't really matter if you're he or she on the other side here. You're going to get both versions of what is going on into the relationship. Cause, um, so, okay. Now. We're ready to begin. So uh, I'm going to begin with the feminine side. So I have the spider, I have the mirror, and I have a bat. So uh, quite frankly, I feel like you've been stuck in some cycles here, you've been stuck into all different kind of patterns, a spider web that you've been uh, creating for quite some time, I feel, but you're not quite there yet. Uh, you're trying to attract whatever it is that you want. It may be love, may it be other different things within the relationship, but um, I fear as though you're not quite getting what it is that you want because I do have the perception card that is right next to it. And the perception is telling me that, you know what, there's illusions. You're just not seeing what it is that you want. You'd like to soar like the phoenix up into the sky from the ashes, but this is not what is going on. So um, to be very, very careful about that. But I do have to, uh, to come and do a little... Um, uh, counter if you want to come in and balance things off I have that which is all about the rebirth of consciousness so perhaps the you know there's going to be some change within the perception up here going on um okay I'll, I'll turn the the masculine side over at the same time while you know I'm talking about both uh, sides here and then I'll get to each card so as for the um the masculine side over here I have a serpent I have a raven and I have a cloak so it shows to me that the masculine side here is is a uh, power hungry let's put it this way um but not only power hungry they are hiding things okay so this could come from the perception why we're trying to see things going on over here that might not be going on um there's camouflage there's secrets there's trying to seek some power trying to keep some power within the relationship also so um we're just going to get over to the cards these are my um these are the messages i'm getting these are my impressions and uh, let's move down to the cards now and get some more information for you on each card. So um, here I have the spider. Um, no, actually, we're going to begin with the bat. The bat is the one that I wanted. So this is rebirth in consciousness. So our, our bat here is all about consciousness that is awakened and it's your flight to freedom is what it is. Um, a bat means a change in consciousness. It's rising within you. Your spiritual life is expanding. It's causing you to look at areas of your life in a new way. And with bat, you can expect change. So there is often a need to let go of outmoded habits, patterns, beliefs. And when the bat is appearing around you, you need to be prepared for the challenge that is always and might always bring and be willing to step into your future. So having freed yourself of those unhelpful parts of your past. It is likely that when, you're, uh, when you've been experiencing deep inner feelings, perhaps outer circumstances have been difficult, uh, restrictive, or even obstructive. And when the bad appears, it's really a sign from the void within that, you know, change is coming quite near for you, okay? Um, now we're going to move on to the following card over here. We're going to move on to the mirror. 
Now the mirror is all about your perceptions are correct. So don't be deceived by surface appearances. Things are not always what they seem. You need to feel and see exactly what is being reflected back to you. And you need to trust your perceptions above all. Your energy body has the ability to feel at all levels and will often speak to you through a sense of unease or even some confusion. So if something doesn't feel right, you need to look carefully at what is happening before taking any further um, action. So you need to watch and you need to reflect upon things deeply and you need to trust your intuition. So curb the fantasies of idealistic attitudes and, you know, just step into the liberation of seeing clearly. Honesty with self and others is really quite vital at this time. So yes, you need to see what is going on over here. Um, let's move on over to the final card on the feminine side, which is the spider card. Now the spider here is about creating your own reality. Okay, these are the threads of your life that you have created and it takes quite some time to do so. Um, these are patterns in life, they're revealed. Um, so you can consciously create what you want from this point onward. Situations have been a little bit sticky for you and they're slowly start to pass. So uh, there's no longer a need to feel trapped by anyone or anything. And with a new sense of freedom, you can move forward with the threads that have personal meaning. So these led you to design that catch, that light, and to weave a life web that supports your real dreams. So this is really about the web of your dreams. It's about what... Well, you didn't catch anything within it, okay? So this is really about trying to make the web of your life um, slowly, you know, just building it as you wish and as you want it. So we're going to move over to the, uh, to the masculine side over here. And we are going to begin with the cloak. The cloak is all about camouflage. So the wise one in you knows when to maintain silence is what this is all about. Cloak signifies a time to hold yourself and to hold your ideas with care and to proceed with much caution. So not revealing yourself or your intentions to others too soon. You need to observe, you need to weigh up whether to speak or to be silent. You need to act or wait. Things are germinating and they require the right attention. So all is not quite in its place for its complete picture to emerge right now. Um, there are many thieves on the road to enlightenment who may well be looking for what you have to give. More invisibility cloaking your future plan. So you must be patient. All will soon be in place for a revelation. Whether you need to progress will be signposted clearly. So you need to learn how to read and trust these signs. Okay. We're going to move over to the serpent. The serpent that I was telling you that is all about um, this power, this power that you're trying to have, but the power of balancing also. This is the life force energy is increasing, so you do need to be wise. Uh, when the serpent enters into your life, you can be assured that creative energy is high. And like the Phoenix rising out of the ashes, you have the ability to rise to any challenge at the moment. The serpent is associated with the energy of creation. So you may have shed a skin, even have outgrown it in, a, you know, in your life. But serpents bring you the gift of intimacy. Observe how you crave or avoid close contact with others and whether your attitude in your personal life requires some integration. Let your power rise and express itself in all areas of your life, being as wise as the serpent with any direction that you could consider. So this is also not only about the power, but it's really about trying to find your direction, trying to find where it ex exactly it is that you need to go. But then we have the raven. And now the Raven card is all about uh, gifts that are being activated. 
So, um, the raven arrives at those times when the veils are thin between your worlds. It's giving you the ability to shape your reality through the integration of spirit, the integration of matter. And as you let go into the void and you really trust the process, you're going to be led to understanding of your current situation based upon knowledge of the greater picture. So, trust any visions at this time and know that the nature of light is to penetrate darkness in order for integration to take place. You are in the process of shedding light upon situations in your life and being initiated into the mysteries. So keep secrets and hold your tongue. So this pretty much does conclude the reading here on the he and on the she. So over here we're living a little bit of a life of illusions. Over here we're living a little bit in the life of uh, uh, fear and even more than fear I would say of, um, of secrecy because you are hiding some secrets which are even told to not say. So what are you going to do with that? This is going to be the question that you're going to have to discuss with your partner. Um, you're going to have to have that consciousness. You're going to have to let go of the illusions. You're going to have to let go of the need to power, the need to control. You're going to have to sit down and figure out what to do with the relationship. So that being said, this does conclude the reading on what she and he are uh, thinking. What are they feeling? What's going on into the relationship? So um, please do subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. If you would like a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, have a fantastic day. Thank you so very much for being there and uh, I'll be seeing you soon.